What's up you guys, Shardimus Prime here, doing another Kotobukiya statue review on the Justice League Movies Artifacts Plus Batman statue. If you're trying to pick this up, you can check it out in the links below, and I gotta thank Kotobukiya for sponsoring this YouTube channel and sending this statue out to me to review for you guys. Nice window box packaging over here, it says Justice League right over there, and on the side you get a nice image of Batman, and on the very back you can see a product shot of Batman, and then on this side you get the Bat logo, and there's not much more on the top and not much more on the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Batman statue out of the packaging. Now, as I've mentioned before, Kotobukiya has taken a different approach to their Artifacts Plus line, and I really love what they've been doing. I really like this Batman statue a lot. It looks absolutely fantastic. Of course, the sculpted details, the paint apps. I even really like the likeness to Ben Affleck. I think they absolutely nailed it. There's no assembly required with this guy, so it's just the Batman statue and the magnetic base right over there. So let's get a closer look at that head sculpt. So here's a good look at the head sculpt compared to some images I found online. I do like that they nailed the eye color. He has brown eyes, or Ben Affleck has brown eyes, and so does Batman. So I think that looks really good. And also, I thought at first that the color of this Batman statue uh, was a little dark, aside from the cape and cowl. I thought, you know, the rest of it was a little too dark, but then comparing it to the images right over here, it looks like they nailed it. It's a definite dark gray color throughout. But again, I really like the details that we're seeing on this, like especially we get the five o'clock shadow. You can see a little bit better as I darken things up, right? Looks pretty good. I like that. You can see as it gets brighter, a little trickier to see, but yeah, I really think they nailed that face sculpt right over there, the lower half of his face. And I really like how the cowl looks. Nice little wrinkles in there. Looks really good. And I love the texturing of his cape too. I really like that a lot. And then it kind of splits apart right over here at the bottom. You know, it looks like it's been through some battles and everything, so I think that's great. Really dig that texturing a lot though. Looking at the rest of this, and I just really like how the rest of this statue really looks. I mean, yeah, they got that gray color in there. I feel like there's a slight bluish hue in it, which doesn't bother me at all. I really dig that a lot. Nice little panels throughout. I really love how these gauntlets came out. You get some nice brown, and we have some nice gold bits right over there. That is really awesome. I dig that. Knuckles are all painted gold. The utility belt looks great. Get this beautiful wash over those pockets. Looking awesome. Uh, one little gripe of mine with this piece, though, is I feel like the ab pieces right over here are sticking out just a little bit too far. They're almost sticking out as much as the chest, and I just, I don't know, I almost feel like these are, look, almost look like pockets, but eh, that's a nitpick anyway. I do like all these paneled lines right over here. Again, here's the other gauntlet. Looks great. The legs look fantastic. Can't complain about that at all. And I love how the boots came out as well. Get more of that copperish brown color over the black. Very nice wrinkles sculpted in there. Even the texturing looks great. We really like how the tip of the boots look over here too. Looking really good. Then of course he does have treads at the bottom of his feet with a nice wash right over there as well as the magnets. Looking really good. And then here's looking at the magnetic base. You know, we get the nice deco on here. Looks really cool. Justice League and the rest of it's just black. And we do get the felted material over here at the bottom. Now measuring out this statue while well, attached to the base, you can see he's standing just a little over seven and a half inches tall. I mean, the base is not that tall. You can see he's just like right at seven and a half inches without it. And then for your Kotobukiya Bat Black statue comparison, you can see the BVS armored Batman compared to this Justice League Batman right here. And I guess seeing these two side by side, I do now feel like this could have been just a shade lighter. And then comparing this Batman statue to a recently released Artifacts Plus statue, we have the CW Flash statue over here from Kotobukiya. I really wish that Warner Brothers figured out a way to mix the TV series in with the movies. That would have been really cool. I mean, I already like Ezra Miller. I think he's going to play a great Flash, but I absolutely love the Flash TV show. So, I don't know. It's still kind of a fantasy of mine to see these kind of mixed in together. I mean, don't they look cool side by side, don't they? I wanted to show the statue not attached to the magnetic base, and he stands pretty well, you know? Eh, I guess he, eh, he's kind of leaning against the cape over there, so that's pretty sturdy, even though I do recommend using the base over not. And comparing him to an average six inch scale figure, here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. So again, I really like this piece a lot, and for him not having a very dynamic pose, I really like this pose too. A very stoic looking Batman, looks like he's ready to go. So I'm really stoked about this. I do like it. I'm very stoked about the movie overall. I'm going to watch it tonight with my brother. I'm really 
really excited about it. I will be doing a movie review tomorrow. But yeah, I do recommend this piece, man. It's a beautiful looking Batman statue. I really like it. And I hope you guys really liked this review. If you did, please hit the little like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the review. Let me know what you think of the statue. If you want to see more Shardmas Prime videos coming your way, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And you also want to make sure you hit that notification bell to ensure my videos are popping up in your feed. Also, if you want to see a photo gallery of images, it'll be over at toynewseye.com. And you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links all in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. I'm gonna play with my toys today. 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 Well, I don't care what strangers say. I'm gonna play with my toys today. That's crispy. Hey, new short Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.